Hi everyone, welcome back to Useful Genetics. This last video isn't really a lecture at all. It's really a collection of questions for you to work through to help you pull together all of the material that we've covered in modules 3 and 4. And I'm presenting it as a set of frameworks for predicting the phenotypic effects of mutations. And these frameworks you should think of as sets of ways of looking at the factors that matter. And there's because there's a lot of different factors that matter, they can be gathered under different headings. So, for instance, we can say, we can think about the effects of mutations by thinking about the function of the DNA sequence. We could also think about the kind of gene that's affected, how the ploidy of the organism matters. Each of these encompasses a number of different issues that we have to deal about, deal with. So in the slides that follow, you will see first a particular framework to think about. So in this first slide, the framework is the function of the DNA sequence. And within that, the issues are whether or not it's coding, is it an intron, is it regulatory, is it a centromere or a telomere sequence, is it a sequence that has no function at all. Thinking about these issues is one way to think about the consequences of a mutation. And then there's a question here that calls on thinking about these issues to answer the question. And what you'll see in the subsequent slides is just more frameworks, each with a list of the issues that arise, and then a question to think about it. So I'm going to let you go through these without input from me, and I'll just pop back at the end.